Hey everyone. Everyone's been talking lately about Chia. Everyone's getting ready for pool mining on Chia. It's already been out for a little bit, but everyone's solo mining. Now, people have been having fun trying to figure out the best and fastest way to plot Chia and to farm it. Well, I want to show you an easier, simpler, faster way of doing this. And I personally have two home servers and you can adapt what I'm doing very easily with one piece of software. But before we jump to the computer, let me just show you what I have. Right here is my 12U home server. If I open it up, and if it'll actually stay open, I have a 4U super micro case right down here. Everything that's blinking down to here. And that is my Plex server. That has a i7-10700K, and this is the workhorse. Then the single bay up here, the 1U, that is also a super micro case. And that is my 24-7, handles the um, cameras around the house, does networking information. It's a very low powered unit. Only has four drive bays, and that runs on a, what was it, E5-1220L V2 dual core, four thread CPU. That only pulls maybe 1820 watts at full tilt. It's a very low power. But this is perfect for farming. This is perfect for plotting. So let's jump over to the computer. And let me show you exactly how I have this set up. So I didn't find this piece of software from another YouTuber or somewhere on Discord or Reddit or anything like that. Of all the places, I actually found it and it's still currently in beta, but it works beautifully. I found it on the Unraid Community App Store because that's what I run on both of my servers. I have two licenses for Unraid. I love it. I have my reasons. I love it. It's worth the money, trust me. Anyway, name of the software is called Machinaris. Now, if we look here, as you can see right down here, currently in beta. So what does it do? It looks really similar to the GUI that comes with the Chia desktop, but he redid his own GUI. And inside of it, you not only have the Chia app itself, which currently at the time of recording is 1.16. So he constantly updates that as soon as Chia updates its own desktop. It also has Plotman version 0.3.1. And that, instead of just using the desktop GUI in Chia to manually set up the plotting and trying to manually stagger them, if you've never heard of Plotman before, it does it automatically. And it staggers the plots and tries to, to do the plotting in the most efficient way with just changing a few parameters. That's it. Um, it also, Machinaris is the program itself. Uh, we're actually running version 0.31, I think. Uh, his picture hasn't been updated on the GitHub. And um, also, it doesn't even show up on this picture yet. He also added, uh, what was it, Plot Dog or something like that? Let me see here. It is Chia Dog, sorry. This is what it actually is. This is currently on my Nebula, the one you that does my farming. Chia 1.16, Chia Dog 0.60. Now, Chia Dog is used for notifications. It can give you daily information. It can let you know if you immediately hit a block. It can let you know if you're having network issues and you have to skip over um, times when the blockchain or whatever it is wants to do work. And for some reason, you can't connect in time. It tells you all these things. Okay, so I'm running Machinaris version 0 0.30 on this one. On Thanos, I just upgraded it to 0.3.1 and Plotman version 0.3.1. So, this is on Nebula, on the low power one. This is the full node version. So, I could do plotting on here if I want to and farming. 
but I'm only using it for farming because farming takes absolutely no resources whatsoever. It does not tax even a little old dual core CPU. It's perfect for what we need to do. And you can see right now, technically I have 20 terabytes of plots, but everything's right up in, is displayed in Tibby bytes. So there's a conversion thing there, it will mess with you. But I have 20 terabytes worth of plots right now. Now, you can see right here, this is my Nebula server on Unraid, and here's Machinaris. Actually, it has an update. I haven't updated it yet because I wanted to show you the screen. Right below here, you can see each challenge that pops up and see if it passes the filters, if you found the proof, the time it took to respond to the Chia network, and the time of when it came through. Now also, we can show you the plotting screen here. I don't have this plotting at all, but it will give you all the information for the plotting. Farming, I have a total of 180 plots right now. Current expected time to win, six months and three weeks. And of course that changes as the net space constantly increases. So right now I do have another eight terabytes available, but I'm not gonna plot it right now. I'm gonna stop for the time being, just like most other people are and wait for the official pooling to come on out in a few weeks. At, supposedly at the end of June, 2021. So under the wallet tab, you can see that basically it just does the wallet command for the command line interface for Chia and spits it out right here. And you can see right now I have 100 mojo from hitting the Chia faucet once because you need just a little bit of Chia for when the pooling starts. So uh, keys, I'm going to go to it, but I'm probably going to have to blank it out. Yeah, I'm going to blank out most of this stuff. But, yeah, it won't show you the seed. You have to do that through command line interface. But it will give you access to it. Network. And that just gives you your network blockchain and your connections information. All of this you can see is basically just a copy-paste from commands that were ran at the command line interface. And it spits it out for you. Now, alerts. You can see... Here's my daily alerts that I got. You can see uh, yesterday, I had 9,330 searches that took less than one tenth of a second to handle, and I didn't have any really slow searches. I have 180 plots, eligible plots, and skipped SPs. I have no clue what the heck that is. I haven't learned all the terminology for Chia yet. And finally, we get down to settings. Now you have three settings on here. You have your plotting, farming, and alerts. Let's look at plotting real quick. Now plotting, you edit this as a text file right in here. Uh, the great thing about having this fully integrated is instead of being on Windows or just straight Linux and having the Chia desktop open and then trying to run Plotman on the side, Machinaris has all the paths and everything else all taken care of. You only have to change a few little settings in here. And if we scroll down, basically the only thing you really got to play with is this is anything with a pound sign, I call it a pound sign, is commented out. It doesn't take effect. So the biggest area, where is it? Plotting scheduling parameters. And this is where it sets, where do you want to stagger the plots? How many plots do you want running at this stage? Because there's certain stages when it comes to plotting uh, a plot. Yeah, how many times can I say plot? But basically you change these few settings right here. How many max jobs? Now on my 10 700K, these settings work beautifully and I get 20, about, probably about 20 plots a day, two terabytes worth. Um, your mileage will vary even if you have a 10 700K. It all depends upon what SSD you have. You can try copying this, but I'm not gonna guarantee it's gonna work for you. You're gonna have to play with your system and figure out what works best for your hardware. And these are just your general settings. Like we're doing K32 plots. Uh, I have no clue what this is. Uh, four threads per plot off the CPU, 
number of buckets, number of RAM. I think uh, Chia defaults like 3,800 megabytes. I changed it to 4,096 because that uh, Thanos, the big computer, the big server, has 64 gigs of RAM, so I don't mind giving it a little bit more. And everything else, I don't even mess with. So that's all I had to do for the plotter. Now, farming, it has all this other information here, which honestly, I never even had to touch at all. Yeah, all this stuff is very easily accessible so you can change it, but I never had to mess with it. It's all set up already. And finally, your alerts. Again, it's another text file, but uh, they can remote ping to make sure that everything's still running. They have a ton of notifiers such as pushover, telegram, um, email, doing running a script, Discord. I have mine set up for a Discord. I'm gonna have to blank that out. Uh, Slack, MQTT. Now going back to the GitHub page, uh, I'm running mine under Docker, under Unraid, but this platform is also available for Windows. Although I don't know why you would torture yourself in this instance. You're definitely better off running it in Linux or Unraid and others, which is basically Docker containers. I'm running it in a Docker container. It makes it so much simpler. So for people who want to take the simplistic route like I did and just run it in Docker containers, my first one is running as a full node and it's basically just set up with the regular information. Now, if you want to run just a plotter like I do on Thanos, my workhorse, if we go over to that one, the only difference is there's an extra, extra environment variable here for plotting only, and it says plotter, container variable mode. And this tells uh, Machineris that I want to disable the full node section. So if I go to Machineris here on Thanos, you can see the only option here is plotting. I have no option for farming, it's disabled. You only want to run one Chia farmer per external IP address. So whatever your IP address is for your house. You only want one computer doing the farming. You can have tons of computers doing plotting if you want to, and then map the network drives back to wherever you're storing all your plots and where it's being farmed at. Now, this is just a basic overview of the program. If you want me to go more into detail on how to set this up, at least in an Unraid instance, and how to plot and move stuff back and forth between servers, I can. Let me know down in the comments below. If there's enough interest, I will go further into it. But I wanted to give this program some exposure because it's a great program that has been written and it's free and it will help so many people, especially in the next few weeks. So, like I said before, please leave any comments down below. I will have extra information, links for all this information down in the video description. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.